Hi, my name is Susie and I'm a first year at the University of Warwick and today I thought with the deadline for the UCAS final decisions coming up I might as well, you know, go into why I chose Warwick for maths, what was helpful to me when I was making my decision and what were the things that I made decisions on that weren't really that useful. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Number one is league tables. Um, I think compared to a lot of my friends I had a very relaxed attitude towards the universities because I'm always I'm, I'm the kind of person who I think like if you go into any new situation you're going to be able to find a way of being happy and making friends and thriving if you know you can adapt to that environment so when I was looking for universities I think the first thing I did was just look at league tables look at the ones near the top and just kind of work with that uh, Warwick is 11th overall I think this year on the uh, competitive unis league table and it's also sixth for maths so doing quite well um <laughs> that that was something that appealed to me because i was always a very academic or i am always a very academic person so i wanted a university that would reflect that but at the same time i think sometimes it can be too easy to get kind of bogged down in chasing that idea of well if it's high up in the league table it's going to be doing well i mean obviously the league tables are a reflection of universities but it, it's not the be all and end all i think if you're going to be happier at a lower down university you need to actually you know face that it, it's not worth just going after you know the big names if you're not going to do as well there the second thing that I considered, and probably one of the most important, is the course itself. I think when I was looking at maths courses, um, between the universities there wasn't a lot of difference for the core stuff. I mean, there's you know there's only so much maths that you can do, and some of it is just fundamental. So that wasn't so much you know a, a motivating factor in my decision. But what was and what really did stand out to me about Warwick was the module choices, the freedom and the flexibility. I'll leave some information about that down below, but Essentially you have you know your core modules which is going to be the, the standard stuff but then you also get a massive massive amount of extra modules, uh, additional modules which you can choose. The maths department has a lot of ties to other departments so it's almost expected that you'll take modules from things like philosophy, CS, uh, physics, statistics, business. Um, languages is also a very common one to do kind of a module or so of that as well but theoretically you know you could take a module from anywhere across the work all of Warwick's departments which to me was very very exciting because I love maths but I also I wanted to try new things I wanted to learn new things and so being able to come to a place where that was not only you know allowed but like almost expected like it it's very rare that you'll meet a mathematician who hasn't done a module you know outside of maths and that was something that I loved, that was something that really, really excited me about coming to work. The next thing I considered was location, which is kind of a strange one. Um, looking back on it, you know, I'm really glad that I ended up in, in the location I did, but I also don't think I should have put as much importance on it as I did. Um, when I was looking at universities, I immediately just ruled out London unis because I did not want to touch how expensive living in London is. Uh, and I definitely don't regret that. Warwick is a very affordable area for me, so that's absolutely lovely, well within my budget. Um, but on the other hand, you know, when I was looking at universities, I thought, you know, oh, Warwick's right in the middle of England. So if I want to go home, like visit my family, or if I want to go visit my friends in other unis, you know, it's never going to be too far. It's not like I'm right up in Scotland or right down on the south coast. But then COVID happened um, and I haven't really been doing much visiting of anyone lately. So it's another one, it's another one where, you know, you'll be surprised at how much of your social life is just at your uni or very close to your uni. So being, being far away from stuff doesn't necessarily have to matter. Um, that being said, Warwick is very close to where I live, uh, very close to a lot of my friends. So. I ended up in a pretty good location, I just haven't been able to make the most of it thanks to COVID. So those were some of the reasons that Warwick was high on my list initially, but everything else kind of clicked into place when I went to the offer holder open day and when I started doing specific research into what my life would be like if I came to Warwick. Um, the first thing that really, you know, stood out to me when I came to the open day was just how much I do love a campus uh, uni as opposed to a city uni. When I went to some of the open days at city unis, I, I personally didn't like that feeling of 
you know, you're you're in a city and then you have a building which has your library and you have a building which has the accommodation and you have a building which has the lecture halls or whatever. I didn't like, it felt like it was a city which happened to have a university in as opposed to then coming to Warwick and I was like, okay, I'm on campus. This is all university, like everything I see is related to university. And if I wanted to go off, you know, go off to Coventry or Leamington or whatever, that was very easy to do. But I love just being on campus and knowing like, this is a university space. This is all around me. It's all university. I don't have to deal with the public or anything. Um, I like that sense of community, I guess. And I like that, that feeling of that separation of like, okay, well, this is my university life. And then this is what else is going on in my life. As opposed to it all got a bit muddled when I was going to city universities. So yeah, that's the first thing that I really, really liked about Warwick coming to the open day. The next thing I really liked about Warwick was how it just has more of a modern feeling than some of the other universities I looked at. Um, it's obviously not like the newest university out there, but I was looking at some very, very old unis, which obviously is, you know, they're beautiful places in terms of like the historical value, they're very picturesque, but I did feel very out of place there. Um, and Warwick just being, it, it, felt, it felt like more in my kind of place. It didn't feel as like grandiose, it felt more more approachable, more like somewhere I could see myself fitting in. One of the final things that I was considering was things I'm going to call just, I guess, the lifestyle of the university. Um, for me, this was things like how good was the library, what societies were there, how good's the party atmosphere, like the clubs here, what's the accommodation like. And this is stuff which is very, you know, it ranges from person to person. Um, for me, this wasn't that important, you know, because I think things like this they won't define your university life, but they will enhance them to some extent. So if the university had the things I wanted, that was like a fun bonus in that regard. But, you know, obviously if you're like an Olympic swimmer and the university doesn't have a pool, then this will be more important for you. It was just, as I said, this was stuff that was a fun bonus if I could get. Um, the reason that I kind of count accommodation in this category is because I can't, I can't sit here and be like, well, if you like this specific kind of accommodation, then we've got the place for you because Warwick has so many different kinds of accommodation. Um, across all of the different accommodation blocks, you have basically any type of accommodation anyone could want. I feel like, you know, you've got, you've got you know, the quiet, picturesque place, you've got the loud party place, you've got the expensive place, the cheap place. There is a lot of stuff happening. Uh, so I think you'll be very hard pressed to find no accommodation that works for you. So that's why that is is in here. The thing that really sealed the deal for me coming to Warwick was a memory which I have, which is very specific to me, it's very vivid. Um, on the open days when I went to them, a lot of universities would kind of do this lecture where they'd be like, okay, and here's what the course is like, here's our employment rates and our statistics and our dropout rates and things like that. And Warwick did all of that and that was fine. But as well as that, they did a just a sample university lecture. Like, this is what maths uni is like. From memory, it was just very basic abstract algebra. It wasn't like a concern, but sat there, you know, in a lecture hall with a hundred other people, writing down notes, with the lecturer stood in front of me with a blackboard. For the first time going to an open day, I was excited about the idea of studying maths. And I was excited about the idea of studying maths at Warwick. You know, I was looking around and I really felt like I could see myself here. I feel like this would be a good place for me. And I think, you know, everything else, every other reason that I've given obviously is important, but if you're not excited about the university that you're going to, it's, you know, <laughs> it's probably not going to be worth your time. Um, it, you might not get the same like moment of clarity that I did, but just if you're, if you're excited about your future at a place, everything else is going to kind of fall into place. At least that's how it's happened for me. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully you guys can find a place that you are excited about. And for me, that place was Warwick. So I hope that's been useful to some of you guys who are thinking about applying for Warwick. Um, good luck with your results. I hope, you know, the UCAS firm decision-making process is as painless as possible, because I remember it being a very, a very scary time thinking about what you want to do with your future or whatever. I hope this has been helpful and I will see you all in the next video.